everyone. My name is Ella. Before we get dancing today, we have to go through a couple of rules to make sure that you have a good time and stay safe. Number one, wear comfortable clothes with trainers or bare feet. Don't wear socks if the floor is slippery. Number two, Clear a space to dance. Tidy up anything that you could potentially fall over. Number three, if any movements hurt or you feel ill, then stop dancing, sit down and rest. Number four, have a drink when you finish dancing today. And five, have fun. So today we are joined by Georgia and playing the drums is Simon. We're going to start with name and shape. I'm going to go first. My name is Ella and my shape today is Ella. Ella. Brilliant. I'm going to pass it to you Georgia. Thank you Ella. My name is Georgia and my shape is Georgia. Georgia. Lovely. Simon. Hi, my name is Simon and my shape is Simon. Simon. Thank you, Simon. And now it's your turn at home for your name and shape. Brilliant. Thank you. So we're going to start by getting warmed up. It's really important we get warmed up to keep our bodies safe and get them ready for dancing. So I'm going to start with some slow movements and then next I'm going to move on to some faster movements. And Georgia, are you okay to do super fast? Yeah. And some stretches? Yeah. Brilliant. Let's go. So if you follow along with me. Thank you, Simon.
you, Georgia, and thank you, Simon. Today, we are going to explore Day of the Dead as our festival around the world. Day of the Dead is a festival in Mexico, and it began several thousand years ago. So it's a really old festival. Day of the Dead is a celebration of life and death, and it remembers family and friends who are no longer alive. People celebrate Day of the Dead festival with parades and making sugar skulls to remember their loved ones. Day of the Dead festival happens every year on the 2nd of November. Let's watch this video for a little bit more information about Day of the Dead festival. Dead Festival, there is a performance, a dance performance called Dance of the Little Old Men. This is a folk dance where dancers move like old people stooped over who are struggling with aches and pains. Let's watch Dance of the Little Old Men now.
good. So if you want to find your space, we're going to learn and recap our routine. Good, so we're going to embody these little old men. So if you want to get stooped over, get into your character, oh, you might have a bit of a bad back. You might be, oh, pretty tired or a little bit grumpy in your face. Good, and we started off with eight walks on the spot. And these are slow. We go one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, good, and don't forget to lose your character, you've got to stay in character the whole time, just like those dancers in the video. Next we're going to do little jigs, so they're a little bit more jumpy, if you want to jump like me today, you can jump from foot to foot, but you don't have to jump, you could also just transfer your weight side to side, and we do eight of these, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Remembering to stay in character, your, your old man might have a bad back or they might not be able to read or see, they might be scratching their heads. They can get into all sorts of funny characters. Fantastic Georgia. Georgia's look like they're trying to read something. Good, so let's try going from the top with Simon's drums, if that's okay, Simon. So let's get into character. Oh. So really good job keeping in your character. Next we have our foot swipes. So I'm just going to move my camera so that hopefully you can see my feet. So we spent a little bit of time doing this last week and I thought about moving my heels and then my toes. So my heels and then my toes. And at the same time I'm moving from one side to the other. I'm keeping my knees nice and bent to protect my knees. If you're doing it like Georgia, sat down, you can do exactly the same as Georgia is doing and don't travel. If you want to try today, you can just do one foot if that's a little bit easier or you can just do little steps side to side. We're just thinking about traveling to other sides. Good, so we're gonna do seven. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to do a little jump or a little hop on the spot on eight. If you don't want to jump today, that is absolutely fine. You can just do a nice bend and straighten of your knees. Good. Then we repeat the other way. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, little jump or straighten. Really nice, good. So let's add that on. <laughs> let's add that on from the top, thinking about our old character. And maybe actually we can go with Simon straight away. If you want to count us in, thank you, Simon, that'd be great. One, two, three, four. So stretch out a little bit after all that stooping over. Stretch out your back, good, because we don't want to spend too much time in our character position. Good, now next in our movement, we have eight counts where you could do whatever you wanted really. You at home could choose what old 
man positions you wanted to do. You might do a big yawn. <sighs> you might have lost something. You might trip over. Oh, you might be read, trying to read something like Georgia. Checking the time, not being able to read the time. I'm sure that you've got so many ideas at home, which is fantastic. So you can do whatever character moves you want, really. For eight counts, you might get a bit confused. Not be able to read, see your shoes. Fantastic. And that's where I want to see all of your fantastic characters. So let's try adding on our eight character moves from the top with Simon. Thank you, Simon. Oh, get into character. Let's go right from the beginning. Georgia, your character looked like they were getting really confused in that segment. Fantastic. Really, really good. They're checking time. <laughs> good. So, yeah. then... My watch is broken. Oh, no, your watch is broken. Classic. You might even need to wear your glasses to check what time it is on your watch. So, today we're going to... <laughs> That's brilliant, Georgia. We're going to add one more new move on and you might have seen this in the video that we were watching so we're going to think about tilting our head side to side now we're going to take this quite slowly and be quite gentle with your neck just going to think about tilting it side to side if that's not possible not comfortable for your body you might want to think about tilting your whole body or doing it with your shoulders or doing it with a different body part. We're just thinking about tilting our body side to side. Good. So we're going to do that four times, or else we'll get a bit dizzy. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do a turn on the spot. So I'm going to turn all the way around. But yeah, exactly like Georgia, you might decide to turn with your torso. Or with your arm or with your head you can choose how you at home how you want to do that turn so let's go from our full tilt so we go one two three four and turn good and back fantastic we're then going to go the other way so we go tilt this way two three four and then we're going to turn the other way turning all the way around. Brilliant. Now in our video when we were watching, they did their head tilts and then when they turned, they kind of scuffled and they stayed in their character. So you might want to do the same as me and kind of have a little bit of a scuffle or quick little feet. Or you just might want to put your character on your turn. So if I'm doing an arm circle as my turn, I might be a bit confused or a little bit wobbly as I do my arm circle. You can choose how you want to add your character. Oh, oh, Georgia looks very off balance on her turn. So you're going to put your character into it. Really, really good job. So let's practice those four head tilts and our new turn just with Simon. So if you give us four counts in Simon, we'll just go straight into the head tilt. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Right. 
video, fantastic. It can feel a little bit quick, so you might have to, whoa, really get your skates on to get that scuttle all the way around. Really good job. Now, to finish our dance today, I feel like we need to have a good pose. Maybe showing off your character. <gasps> yeah, lovely. You want to show off some of your character traits and it needs to be a still position. So let's practice those still positions in three, two, one, go. Hold it. Really nice, really, really good. So that is going to be our finishing, our ending position for today. So that will come after our turn. And then Simon, maybe if you give us a little drum roll into that ending position. Fantastic. Now this is quite a fun dance to do. I have quite a lot of fun getting into my old person character. I don't know about you, Georgia. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's lots of fun. So let's try and do it one last time from the top with Simon. Really get into that character. It should be lots of fun. Oh, so let's get into our character. Brilliant. Thank you, Simon. One, two, three, four. your old man characters at home. Really, really good job. It's now time for our creative task. Now, last week we were thinking about dancing like different ages. And we did four different ages. We did young children, we did teenagers, we did people in them, adults, and then we did our old people. So today I want us to think about the old people and the young people. So we've practiced our old person quite a lot today, but I wonder if we can think about this young child who's moving quite quick, quite lively, maybe quite light. The opposite, very different to what we've been doing as our old person. So I wonder if Simon, if you could just play some music for us now that feels really light and joyful and we can have a practice of just moving really light, like a child who's very, very happy. Thank you, Simon. And let's try something very different now. Let's try our old person, so our old granddad. So maybe they might move really slowly. Really quite difficult to move. Maybe it's quite, oh, quite creaky and achy and slow. So let's try and move just like that with Simon now. Thank you, Simon.
really good job on those characters. So I wonder if we might be able to play a little game now where we need to listen to Simon's music. And Simon will either play our young person quite fast, quite lively, or he'll play something different and he'll play our old person. So maybe to start with, let's just not dance and let's just listen to the two different sounds. So we're going to practice listening and then next we're going to dance whatever Simon is playing. But let's start off just having a listen now. Thank you, Simon. Brilliant. And then can we play the old person? Fantastic. Thank you so much, Simon. So we are going to dance according to what Simon plays. So he might play something quite young and we've got to dance really young, really energised. And then he might suddenly swap to being really old and we've got to change our movement very quickly. And we've got to go from dancing quick to dancing slow. And then it probably will swap back to being quick. So you've got to really keep listening to Simon's drums. He might play around a little bit between the two options to try and keep listening and dancing. Georgia and I will do it at the same time. So you can watch either of us. We might get a bit tricked out, but we'll do our best. So let's start standing up or we'll start nice and tall if you're seated. Good, and we're gonna listen to Simon. And remember, we've either got old or young. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Simon. between the quick movements 
and the slow movement. So it's quite a tricky thing to do. So really well done. Really good dancing today. It's time for a cool down. So if you follow along with me, we're going to do some slow movements and some stretches. Lovely. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for taking part in this tutorial. If you'd like to feature in our calendar of festivals film at the end of the year, then film yourself doing the dance you learned today and send it to l.whitlock at magpiedance.org.uk or you can message it to 07959726617. If you're not sure how to send the video, Click on the link in the description and it will help. Have fun!